So here we have a salesperson traveling amongst these different cities, Boston, New York, Pittsburgh, etc. So the question is, how does this salesperson minimize the traveling distance across these cities? As you can tell, similarly, you can do this calculation based on either traveling cost, like the total price of the tickets among these cities, or the time required for this traveling. But in this example, we'll just focus on distance. So in this table, we have 11 cities, Boston, Chicago, Dallas, Denver, LA, Miami, New York, Phoenix, Pittsburgh, San Francisco, and Seattle. And uh, we have the distances to, we, and we have the distances between each pair of cities. And here are the cities laid out in columns, and then again, the same set of cities laid out in rows. That is why the diagonal distances are all zeros, because it will be the same city. So this is the distance table. If we replace the distances with airline ticket prices, then we can do minimizing the total cost of traveling instead of distance of traveling. It's the same drill here. So how do we visit all these cities and minimize the total traveling distance? So to conduct this calculation, let me first lay out a plan. So let me start by putting down the order of traveling here from one, two, and all the way to 11. And then based on the order of traveling of these cities, I can actually calculate the distance between each pair of these orders. 1 to 2, 2 to 3, etc. So I'm going to calculate the distance. So here we have done this before. To find out the distance within a table like this, we're going to use index. So index, parenthesis. And what we are looking for is to find the distance within this area. And use F4 to lock this since we are going to refer to the same area every time we calculate this and comma and then within this area what are the row numbers and column numbers so the row number is for the first one would be from the last city that traveled comma to the first city that's traveled so it's basically you want to find the order from the last city traveled to the first city traveled, that gives you the distance between these two cities. And enter. For the rest of them, it's a little bit different because only the first one has to look for the last one. Everything else is just look for between one and two. And when we are at city three, it would be between two and three. So, Let's do this, index, parenthesis, and same area here, F4, and comma. And then the row index here would simply be the previous city, comma, the current city, and then close the parenthesis, and then enter. And this one, we can just copy this all the way down to all the other cities. And as you can see in the last one would be the distance between these two cities. So the order would dictate the distances. Now we want to know what these cities are so that we actually can tell what these order actually represent. So let me put down the city name is equal to. So here we are going to find out the city name using the index number. So we're going to use VLOOKUP of this order number, comma, and to look at here, A2 to B12. That's where we can find the city names based on the order index. And then F4, since we want to look up in that area. 
and then comma, the second column, comma, and it will be an exact match. So this will be false. And then enter. So as we can see, this is Boston, not surprisingly. So I copy this all the way down. Now we have all the city names listed as well. And let's calculate that the total distance is equal to the sum of all these distances. And then close the parentheses and then enter. So remember that number, the total traveling distance when we do this blindly is 18,775 miles. Let me call this bad total since it's not optimized. Now we're going to use solver to find the sequence of these cities so that we can minimize the total travel distance. For this, we're going to need evolutionary solver. So go to data, solver, and the objective is the total distance. And we minimize this by varying variable cells of the order of this travel. And the constraint on these cells order of traveling is so Excel has one of the interesting constraint is diff. So this basically requires all these target cells to be different. So if we have 11 integers and they are all different, and then it's going to give us always between 1 and 11. And if they're all different, then automatically it's going to yield the order of travels. That's how we trick Excel to do this. So then select the solver, evolutionary solver, check the options, evolutionary solver, and the maximum time without improvement. Let's give it a little bit more time to be 300. No need to change the others at this point. Click OK and solve. And Excel actually solved this problem relatively quickly. Click OK. And now you see the solution, and the total traveling distance is approximately 9,000 miles. And as you see that the home city, as we know, is Boston. So this is where we start. This traveling salesperson is going to go from Boston to Miami to Dallas and then to Phoenix, LA, San Francisco, etc. So the loop would go this way. And uh, because we are looking at distance alone, so you always have two solutions because instead of traveling to Miami, you can start from traveling to New York and go the other loop and uh, finally to Miami and back to Boston. So the two solutions, they are of equal distance of about 9,000 miles. That concludes this video.